and maybe even make a movie in India. <laughs> I'd love that. That'd be amazing. Yeah, my first, I can produce my first movie in India. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs>
So maybe if you can make a remake or sound of music, you can be one of the lead actors actress in that. Maybe a, a superhero sound of music? How would that work? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's where creativity comes into the play. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, there was a time I almost planned on writing sound of music part two. I mean, I used to write a lot of stories back in the day mm -hmm. over time. So. That'd Maybe if cool. you make something like that, that'll be cool. <laughs> For sure. So, yeah, next question, of course, like I already told you, I love Scooby Doo. Mm -hmm. And and when when, when I uh, thought of you, and, and the, I think the fact that you're wearing, I think, brown, which kind of like orange of well, mm -hmm. your facial <laughs> expressions, and the fact you love math. Okay, the minute I saw that you love math, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like a full fledged nerd. So you're like a Velma. So what would your take be on being a Velma in Scooby Doo? Do you love Scooby Doo? Like, I do. I used to. I used to watch Scooby Doo all the time with my cousins. I I've seen a couple of them since. I haven't seen a lot of Scooby Doo uh, in the recent years, but I have been wanting to go back and just rewatch all of the classic films and the show and everything. But Velma is such a fun character. Um, I will tell you, when I was little, my cousin and I used to argue about who would be Daphne, and she always made me be Velma because I had the short brown hair. Which now I'm like, oh yeah, I love Velma. She's amazing, of course. I would love to be her. Um, and yes, I am an absolute nerd. I fully embrace that. Um, and I used to adore math. It used to be one of my favorite subjects. And then I got into kind of the harder stuff. And I'll just say English is now my favorite subject, but I still I still do adore math. It's still fun. Um, but Velma would be such a fun character to play because she's so she's such a smart person and very intelligent and, and can take the lead um, when she needs to like be brave. But she's also really fun and sweet and very focused on her friends, which I feel like would be such a cool character to get to play. So if they ever do another live action Scooby-Doo, I am around the right age. So it would be fun. <laughs> Even if they don't make, someday I'm going to make. And if yeah. you are available, I'll choose you as Daphne. Well, Absolutely. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> you know, that's... Yeah. What I love doing about Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> so the next uh, one is coming back to Goop and Cami. Would you rather? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's the one thing I was like. I was breaking my head on this. Like, would you rather? Would you rather? Where would I put this? And then I realized, like, your favorite singer that you look up to is Taylor Swift, and you love singing, and you play the ukulele. My brother plays the ukulele, so I know what it is all about. Like how excited he can be and you can be. Uh, and your favorite actor that you were talking about is Emma Watson. So I thought, okay, this should be fun to ask you. Would you rather sing with Taylor Swift or act with Emma Watson? Any one? Act with Emma Watson. I, I love Taylor Swift and I would love to sing with her. That would be an amazing thing. But I have adored Emma Watson for a very long time and would love to get to play either a young her or her sister, or any, any way that I could just be in anything with her would be an absolute dream of mine. Um, I get a lot of people, when I do a British accent, they say that I look and sound like a mix of Emma Watson and Millie Bobby Brown. So I'm like, great, that's perfect. If if I could be like Emma Watson and just get to um, work with her someday, that would be an absolute dream. Why don't you... Uh do some uh, enacting for us right now. Like yeah. maybe With acting as well as a voiceover in the British accent or something. I mean, why don't you show us something? Yes. Um, so this is actually, I, I love doing a British accent and a lot of times, so as I said, I work at Chick-fil-A and a lot of times I'll either be taking orders out in the drive through or I'll be giving out the orders in like the little window thing that they have. And I will do a British accent and try to see how many people in a day I can get to believe that I'm actually from England. Um, it's, it's, it's a challenge that me and my friends have set for me. And so the other day, I think it was Paul that actually asked where in England I was from, which was really fun. Um, it's, it's just always been something that I've loved doing. Um, I actually learned from listening to the Chronicles of Narnia audiobooks so much when I was little. Um, and it's it's kind of become a part of my personality. I think in a British accent, I accidentally slip into it without thinking about it. 
Um, but I just, I just love doing them. They're so much fun to do. <laughs> that's so nice. And you did that on the spot. That's hats off to you. <laughs> Thank you.